Well, hello again. I am here making a left onto Whittier Boulevard from Eastern Avenue off of the 710 freeway in Los Angeles, California. And today we are going to a Jewish cemetery which is on the left here. On the right is a Catholic cemetery. Um, and you'll see that a lot, actually, in California. I'm not sure if that's how it is in other states, but you'll see that all the time in California. But what we're visiting today is this Home of Peace Jewish cemetery, and it's in East LA. And we're going to be visiting some very special people today. Um, I will do a drive around, but I'm also going to visit the graves of Curly Howard and Shemp Howard of the Three Stooges because I love them. I visit their graves quite often. Um, I'm a huge fan of both of them. I love the Three Stooges just in general, but I am a huge fan of both Curly and Shemp. And you know, a lot of people will try to compare the two and say one is better than the other and blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I hate that kind of thinking. Um, you know, it's like, it's like with Marvel and DC comic books. A lot of people are like, oh, what do you like better? Do you like Marvel better or do you like DC better? Well, the truth is, I like both of them exactly the same. And I think that most people who are into that kind of stuff, you know, they probably have no preference at all, but they just want to pretend like they do for dumb purposes. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm honest about what I like and what I dislike, and I always have been. But yeah, I mean, I don't go around this whole thing of, well, I'm going to pretend to like, you know, this or that because my friends are into it or because the crowd is into it all the all the cool people are into it i i don't have a lot of respect for people who do that i, I really don't um in fact i have no respect for them <laughs> like i'll just put it like that so on the left here is the uh home of peace mausoleum we're gonna see the the front of it as well um Sorry about my rant. So you know, you know, one of the reasons why um, why I like to watch these different videos made by different people is, is it's not because of the places they go necessarily, um, you know, because I mean I go to all those places anyway, but it's because of the personality they bring to it. Like Memory Lane with Steve, that guy is so full of personality that I love watching everything he does. I don't care what he does. I love watching him do it. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this building is. Let me creep up a little bit so you can see the top of it. Just, just a beautiful building. This is one of the older Jewish, in fact, I think it's the oldest um, Jewish cemetery in Southern California. Oh, here's the, uh, here's the, hello, how are you? Good, it's good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. That guy is so amazing. Every time I've come here, I've seen him here, the gardener there, and um, he's always just really willing to help you find whoever you're looking for. You know, he just, he loves it. I actually would love to work at a cemetery. And a lot of people are weirded out by that, but um, I would love it. I would absolutely love it. Especially if it were at night. <laughs> now that sounds crazy, but I mean, when can you actually ever go into a cemetery at night? I never want to be banned from this place, ever. So I will follow their rules and I will do everything they want because I never want to be banned. I will be respectful of everyone that I see. One of the reasons why I rant like this in the car and drive around is because 
I don't want anyone to be um, upset by what I'm doing. You know, I don't want anybody to be upset by me talking and yapping off because, you know, a lot of people are here to mourn. I hope this isn't boring for anybody. I love these over here. Like, if you look at these, these, uh, these are the types of, of uh, graves that are here towards, like, the southern part of the cemetery, the, the southwest part of the cemetery. You got a lot of these, um, they're, like, almost crypts that are beneath the ground. Um, I think this may be an orthodox thing, like an orthodox Jewish um, uh, tradition of some sort. Because I, I don't see this at a lot of cemeteries, but yeah, you look at, it's like the, the, the headstones are attached to almost like a curb. Um, and some of them aren't really in that great a shape. Like some of them are broken right in the middle. And uh, like, I'll show you one that's actually cracked right in the middle. And it's coming out at an angle. And um, I remember I was here once and it was raining and that, it had been raining for weeks and that particular grave was filled up with water and you could smell the insides of it which wasn't very pleasant <laughs> not very pleasant at all and here we are now I should I should point something out real quick right over here These series of, of mausoleums here uh, are the Warner Brothers. Like I said, there's a lot of really prominent people buried here. Uh, many of the old studio moguls are buried here. So Carl Lemley is buried here. A um, bunch of others. I can't think of their names offhand right now. Oh, uh, yeah. So. so here's the Warner Brothers crypts. One of them. There's another one. The youngest one, Jack Warner, is not buried here. He's buried on the other side of the cemetery. See if you can see any of those. Probably not. <laughs> um, Produced the jazz singer and died like two months before it came out, 1927. It's like, you know, Walt Disney, you know, he, he died right before Pirates of the Caribbean came out. Uh, the, the ride, that is, not the movie. But yeah, he, uh, he passed away right when it, that movie came out, or that ride came out. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and um, basically, uh, you know, you didn't get to see it. And that's that's uh, the truth for Sam Warner as well. That's really sad to me. It makes me depressed. <laughs> Look at this. Just beautiful.
So Larry is not buried here, but that is Larry's actual last name, Feinberg. See, I have this really cool little tripod that's got a bunch of caterpillar-like legs on it. And I can sort of just attach it to anything I want to. And um, I know it's kind of silly, but this to me is like the greatest thing in the world. When I was younger and uh, interested in filmmaking, we didn't have stuff like this. Oh, man. One of the cool things is the cascade effect. When you sort of uh, drive by these. It's very prominent when you're driving into a military uh, cemetery that has actual headstones instead of markers. That's how cool this place is. I love that little gazebo with the with the crypt in, inside of it. It reminds me of the one that's over in um, uh, Glendale that has the remains of uh, Ned Dahini. Sort of a uh, a canopy, a stone canopy sort of thing. Palm trees. I love the palm trees, man. I am. Let's see the third tree up from that one-way sign back there. So if you count them, one, two, three on the right. So let's see, one, two, and then three. So right at this tree, right in between the third and fourth tree. So you feel me? So here's one tree. That's the third tree. This is the fourth tree, and this is the third and fourth tree north of that one-way sign over there. So we're gonna go walk over to Curly, see how these are. See how these things crack? Kind of scary. And right behind this Horowitz, which is probably the father. Hello, Mr. Horowitz. It's nice to meet you. And here we have Curly. Perhaps the favorite of all the Stooges. Give a little something here. Oh, they, somebody even left a baseball. Look at that. So you can sh so you can see all the all the things that are here. Strange to think that. Oh, there's a Diet Coke. It's brilliant. I don't even know if Diet Coke had been invented yet when he died in 1952. So weird to think that he is maybe five or six feet beneath this. All graves aren't six feet deep, funny enough. He could be four feet down. So within about four to six feet down, Behind this slab of concrete here is Curly. Give you sort of a pan around to the rest of this. See there? That's facing north. Um, and in front of that big, uh, on the other side of that big white building is Calvary Cemetery. And then this is looking back towards the Home of Peace mausoleum where Shemp is buried, or interred, excuse me. You don't bury somebody on a mausoleum, moron. You inter them, Moo. Look at this. This is the back of the parents 
crits. At least I think that this is the parents. I'm just, I'm sort of just guessing that because it's right behind there. And um, the people on the sides of Curly are, are named Morris and Shore. So I don't think that they are related. I think this may be the parents of the Three Stooges. Look at that. Kind of slanting to the right a little bit, sunken in, but fairly intact. I don't, I don't know what this says. Um, it's in Hebrew, obviously, but I kind of want to know what it says so that I can make sure that this is what I think it is. So I'm gonna go try to find some of these more broken examples of. Tomb. Oh, one right over here. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is way over the... Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Wow, I was... <laughs> I was hoping to, to show you something shocking today, but... I'm actually shocked. Wow. Oh my god. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry to laugh to whoever is buried in there. I'm very sorry that this happened to your tomb, but I mean... And this is the worst case of, of uh, tomb wreckage I've ever seen in like a regular cemetery that's not like a archaeological dig somewhere. I mean, I can't believe this right now. Wow. I'll, wow. Well, let's go see if we can top that one. I don't think we're going to be able to top that one. This one's like kind of bashed in there. So are these. Here's another one. Looks like they filled it in with dirt. See how it's. sort of bashed into the top. There's one, there's one that's ripe for the videotaping. Oh, we, be, we may even be the last ones to see this thing like somewhat intact. Look at this. So Mr. Rotberg, his grave is about to collapse. Oof. into it. Looks like I spotted one down over here. No. <laughs> Sheesh. Whoever's in this grave is just like, oh, hey. Oof. Sorry, Mrs. Greenberg. Oh, man. Oh, she was a year younger than I was when she died. I am, or better. I was, I'm not an I was yet. Though if I keep walking through the cemetery, I might become a was. <laughs>